Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Andrew McGinnis and Andy Lang of wagertalk.com. Guys, we're talking Sunday NFL football here, the LA Chargers and the Baltimore Ravens. Minus three at home here, McGinnis. Total of 48. You liking anything Chargers and Ravens on Sunday? Drew, I don't like to always just overreact to, you know, what I saw one time or, you know, what just happened recently, but sometimes you kind of have to do so. And we just saw a very interesting game Monday night, um, Colts and Ravens. I mean, incredible performance in the second half. We saw almost a different Ravens team than we saw in the first half. I'm a huge fan of adjustments. I like to see um, somebody or, or a team in general just kind of recover after a rough half or be able to come back. And it's kind of what we saw from the Ravens. And although, we saw the Colts kind of um, give them a lot in the second half. I think it was incredible what uh, Lamar Jackson was able to do with not only his passing, but also his rushing, his ability to find different targets. But I'll tell you, I'm worried about their defense. You know, it seems like their defense, uh, the, the, the yards that their uh, opponents are able to gather after a catch has just been despicable. It's just something that can't really happen. The plays that they're able to make after, you know, even a five, six, seven, eight yard catch just can't happen. In the National Football League and shouldn't happen, especially when you're going up against a team like the Chargers. The Chargers will make them look foolish if they, you know, can't get tackles um, in simple uh, moments. And that's what the Ravens weren't able to do against the Colts. They squeaked out a win. Um, and we got a guy like Justin Herbert, and we've all given him lots of compliments. Everybody at Wager Talk seems to be, you know, loving this guy. And I feel like everybody in the world right now is giving him compliments. Guy, you know, making it look easy throwing 400 yards passing, four touchdowns. And I went against uh, the Chargers over the weekend, actually on a video we did last week, the two of you guys taking the Browns. But it's hard to go against this guy right now. But one thing you can count on, as good as their defense has been, is that they're going to put up points. They've got talent, and Herbert's going to throw bombs down the field. The word conservative does not work for that team. And I believe we're going to go over the total of 48 in this one. Uh, we saw lots of talented plays. Mark Andrews took over the game for the Ravens. Hollywood Brown catching deep plays. And uh, the complete you know, depth uh, of receiver options for the uh, Chargers is just too much to handle for this Ravens uh, decor. So I'm looking at the over 48, and I expect a really exciting game in this one. Okay, the over. And uh, what, what are you liking here, Andy? Uh, Chargers catching three on the road. That's kind of catching my eye here. What are you thinking, Chargers and Ravens? Oh, I'm going right past the points. Just give me the Chargers on the money line. Uh, you know, I want to start with the Chargers on defense. They're the worst rushing defense in the league. They give up 5.6 yards of rush. But Baltimore's turned into a passing team. I don't think they have the running backs uh, to scare this Chargers defense. You know, Lamar Jackson can obviously run, but Latavius Murray is not doing much. Tyson Williams, he barely plays. And Devontae Freeman caught some passes, but he's not scaring anybody in the running game. So I'm just not sure that this rushing attack for the Ravens is going to be able to exploit the biggest defense uh, or the biggest weakness of the Chargers, which which is that rush defense. Um, so I'm going to take the Chargers. I think the Ravens have been getting away with a lot of things that are going to catch up to them. So first game, they lose to the Raiders. Uh, then they beat the Chiefs by one, a game they probably lose if Clyde edwards Lair doesn't fumble late in the game. They beat the Lions on a last-second insane field goal. They could have easily lost that game. They beat the Broncos when Teddy Bridgewater gets hurt. And then they beat the Colts thanks to a hurt kicker missing a field goal, an extra point, and getting another kick blocked. They could easily have one win on the season. I don't think they're going to get all those breaks all season long. This char Chargers offense is going to put up a lot of points. I think the the uh, the Ravens' luck is going to regress back to the mean. I'll take the Chargers to win. And on that line and player prop, give me Justin Herbert over his longest completion. He's done this in three out of his last four games. The Colts, Chiefs, and Raiders all have had at least one long completion against Baltimore. Herbert with a healthy Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, and even Austin Eckler was going to get another long pass. Give me the Chargers big over Baltimore. I like it. Good stuff from Andy Lang and Andrew McGinnis. Check them both out at wagertalk.com. Guys, also remember, $2 Tuesdays at Wager Talk. The site's top handicappers, top play, discounted to just $2. Check it out Tuesdays on wagertalk.com.